Hello, I'm Kate and this is another car boot sale haul. I've got loads of things to show you and this haul is really cheap. Everything was around 50p. I think the most expensive thing was a pound. So this is a really cheap car boot sale haul, which I love. So I've got lots of bargains. So I hope you're okay and you've had a good week or weekend. I'm not sure when I'm putting this video on, so I'm just filming it. So I hope you're having, I hope you've had a nice day so far. Um, before I get into my haul, I've got to do a mug of the day. And if you watched a car boot sale haul I did um, about three weeks ago, I think it's about three weeks ago, um, you will have seen this mug and I think it was 50p. And it says on it, she believes she could, but then she couldn't be asked. So you know when you're having one of those days where you're like, you think one, you know, the night before you're like, I'm gonna take over the world tomorrow. And then you wake up and you're like, nah, just I, I'll just sit in the garden or I'll just, you know, I'll just, I'll just drink some coffee. So this is my bug of the day and the maker's wordplay, and I, and I like it very much. It's a non-motivational mug. Yay, mug of the day. I've got a water. Oh, that was quite a low mug of the day. It's got, uh, it's got, I got a water because I just needed a drink. I, I'm a bit hot, so I didn't want to tea or coffee. So I'm going to show you my bargains. I got some other things. Um, this is me excited for bargains. And I've put some of them on, on my um, Instagram things so have a look on there i've got two instagram accounts one for my house and one just for me um to show off like things i find and dresses and in charity shops not in charity shops but dresses i found in charity shops and car boot sale things so that's kate mckaby and my house account is kate's home you home they'll be linked in the description so make sure you come say hi on instagram after this video of course and if you haven't subscribed yet please do i'd like that very much and give the video a like if you like if you like like if you like Give the video a like if you enjoy these kinds of videos. I love doing them. I love car boot sale hauls and charity shop hauls. Car boot sales are just so random and so cheap. That's why I love car boot sales. So the one we went to was in Norwich, Arming Hall car boot sale. And I went on a Sunday. They're on Wednesday and a Sunday in Norwich. And it's a really good one. They've got a Facebook page. So you can always check the night before to see if it's on. Because it's about half an hour away from me. And I went with my friend Louise. And she found some really good bargains. And it's lovely going with, with Louise. Because we're not competing for stuff. We're just like, oh, that might be nice for you. That might be nice for you. Because we've got a similar taste. But then quite different. Which is always good when you're um, looking for bargains. So the first thing I'm going to show you is, well, two things I'll show you first of all this and this so they both look like paint brushes one is a paint brush and one isn't this is um, a notepad which i thought was so cute i love that i might have to give this to ewan this is quite a ewan-y thing isn't it so he can put all his ideas on here so ewan if you're watching if you want that i'll give it to you i'll give that to you ewan but if not i will keep it because um i quite like it but yeah if Mr. Carrington, by the way, that's who Ewan is. He is another YouTuber. Oh, hang on, I've got some hair on my lip gloss. Oh, I think it's okay. Is it just, yeah, hair from my head, not from like moustache hair. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm not gonna edit this video. I'm just gonna keep on going, keep on waffling. That's me waffling. What was I saying? Oh yeah, so Ewan, if you're watching, you can have that. I'll link Mr. Carrington's um, YouTube channel in the description and my friend Louise as well, because she's another YouTuber now. So I'll link both of their, um, YouTube accounts in the description box so you can find them. This was 50p. Somebody's used it a little bit, but it's still there's still loads on there. And I just thought that was great. It's like a real paintbrush, but then you've got notepads, a little notepad set as well. So that was 50p. And the other paintbrush I found was a brand new Harris paintbrush, and that was 10p. How good. I love things for 10p. I saw it and thought, well, that might be handy for something if I do a bit of painting or you know, if I paint anything, or we've got to paint this room actually, so I could use my brush to paint some, a bit of the walls. So that was 10p. So I don't know how much they are normally, Harris, but I think that's quite a good make, isn't it, for brushes? So yeah, 10p. He said, I said, how much? 10p. How much is it? And he said, 10p. What, I just said that twice. Anyway, I'll recreate the scene, although I've already just told you. How much is this? Hello. No, he didn't say hello. Okay, so the, I'm, I'm me. Hello. Hang on. Oh, this is terrible. I don't know what I'm doing. Hello, how much is this? And then the bloke said, 10p. 10p? I'll have, I love things for 10p. I don't even know why I just recreated that. That was the worst like recreation ever because nothing really happened. It was just me saying yes. And I like things for 10p. And at the beginning of the car beat sale, I found a skirt. I've only got, no, I haven't got any other items of clothing in this car boot sale, just this skirt. And it was a quid. And it's a bit different to things I normally find because 
or normally buy because it's quite long. I think this is kind of in the mid, like a midi length, because what a midi length skirt. And um, the make is Isabel, which I'm not sure, I've not, uh, not heard of that before. It's just a really nice denim skirt. It's got elasticated waist, which is good. Little button there, and then it's just nice and long and then flares out. I really like that. So maybe just with a plain top, like a black top or any coloured top and some flip flops, it will be nice. I haven't tried that on yet, but hopefully it will fit. So that was a pound and I didn't haggle um, because a pound is good, isn't it? It's a nice, heavy denim skirt or just did a little burp there. I don't know if you heard, it was like a little sneaky one. A little sneaky one. I think this is a size 12. Does it tell me? Oh yeah, it doesn't here. It says, oh, it's a 14. 100% cotton, washed separately, is a bow. And then, um, yeah, size 14. And uh, I don't know if I've said this before, but when I was born, my dad wanted to call me Isabel. And then my mum, no, my mum wanted to call me Isabel. And then my dad said, Kate. I think that was how it went. I'll ask my dad. But I think, yeah, I could have been Isabel McCabe. I think my mum liked Isabel. I think it was that way around. And then I just end up being Kate from Isabel to Kate. I don't know how that happened. Um, well, I'll have to ask my dad and then I'll, I'll, I'll let you know. I got a couple of things for our wedding next year, for our wedding that is now going to be next. Hopefully it'll be next year. Hopefully by the time like, July comes round, we get married in July again. Not again, because we didn't get married before, but we're going to try and get married in our garden in July. So hopefully um, it'll all be okay, but we shall see what happens. So I've got a couple of little bits and I was fine about it being postponed because it just gives me another year to kind of plan everything and put flowers in the garden and just get more prepared. This was 50p, the lady wanted a pound and I thought, oh, I don't know. And then I said, would you take 50p? Um, and she said, yes. And it says confetti here, confetti here, champagne there, love everywhere. That's nice, isn't it? So yeah, that was 50p. I, I like these colours, this kind of just wood, little wooden, woody thing with some white writing. So yeah, that was 50p. Oh, by the way, Rufus is here. In case you can hear him, he's having a little a little snuffle. He's just here. And then I saw, well, actually Louise spotted these. She went, oh, look, there's some little hearts. And they were 50p. I'll just take the little sticker off. They're ginger ray, which um, ginger ray, I've seen some lovely like wedding items. Yeah, 50p for those. And they just say, Mr. Oh no, someone's drilling. I hope you can't hear that. Um, Mr. and Mrs. So it's just a few, but they might be quite nice scattered around um, where the brownies are, or just scattered on the table. Oh, it might be quite pretty, so 50p for those. And I bought this for a pound, so I saw this little set sitting on um, a lovely ladies table like this, and it's a pink, like a dusky pink tea light holder, and some tea lights, and I said, how much is that? She said a pound for the lot. These are Primark, I think. Oh no, they're Asda. Coconut Crush, they smell really nice. You can smell them through the packaging. Have a whiff. Nice, isn't it? And obviously they can go in there. So a pound for these. And this is from Asda as well. I've got this. I actually found the same tea light holder in white. I bought two of them from the previous car boot sale haul, which I'll link in the description. And they were, I think they were 50p each. And I had a yellow one in our living room, our snug room. And we've changed our colours. So the pink one will go in there with the white ones and replace it because these are our colours now. So yes, that's a pound. And I'll just put that. There. I just had to edit it very quickly there. I had to stop filming because my uh, lip gloss went a bit funny. So I just stopped it very quickly. Um, but that's okay. Right, so this was 50p. Oh, no, hang on. From the same store that I got the tea lights and little um, tea light holder from, I bought this and it was a quid. This is Louise's fault I bought this because I saw it and thought, I've got lots of things like this that I pick up at car boot sale, so I don't really need any more. And Louise went, you need that. You need that. And I was like, oh... Oh, I don't really, you do, you need that. I was like, and the lady said it's a pound. I was like, okay, and it used to be 12 pounds, like from next. So I was like, okay, then I'll get it. So I gave the lady a pound. So in here, I've got creamy bath essence, body butter, a little scrubby thing, and some exfoliating body scrub. So just a really nice set. I think they obviously they got it in the sale and then I got it for a pound. So I'll take all of these out, recycle the packaging and use the items. But that's... I do love things like that, but I do have quite a few. 
but it's only a pound so I find it quite hard to resist but it's something I'll use and you know Lee can use it as well washes his body like that these were 50p ah oh they're clinging on to something else got some really nice things in this haul actually yeah so 50p for these tea light holders and I just think they're lovely I think they're gonna look really nice outside maybe with a citronella candle to keep your citronella tea light to keep the bugs away and they were 50p for the two so they're just like leaves aren't they and they're painted green they're from the pier originally and the lady was lovely who um had these on a stall Louise got a few things from her as well and these were 395 originally from the pier and yeah i got those for 50p so really cute so i think they'll look lovely outside with a little candle in or even inside obviously they'll look nice on the table love those really nice where can i put those i'll put them down here okay this was 50p a lady um had a really nice stall i think it's a couple of ladies actually and she had some planners so me and louise bought one each and yeah they were 50p so i'm just gonna plan what i'll be eating or youtube videos on here which is always handy and that was from tesco originally so 50p for this monday to sunday weekly planner to do and i do love a list and a plan so i thought i would pick up one of those and um, this was a pound this was from the same people that sold me the one the 10 p um you know paintbrush that story i recreated that wasn't even a story it was so boring i don't know why i even did that but this is really cute it's a little radley purse which is very very sweet probably didn't need it but then i thought it's good to put your car boot cell money in because i don't i had one I had on my car boot sell money in but it's disappeared so I thought I would use that and maybe clip it into the inside of my bag so it doesn't like fall out so um that was a pound she wanted two pounds and I thought I really don't need it but it's cute would you take a pound and she said yes I would so I got that for a pound and yes it's got a little Radley dog there so it's just very sweet little hearts and like polka dots and that's the inside so a new little purse all car boot sales it's cute isn't it just says radley london on the back that's really sweet i like that i like that these are different um these were 50p and there is four of them coat hangers moustache coat hangers oh hang on well it doesn't really work does it because they're they're quite big actually i haven't i need to wax my moustache but um i haven't done it since before lockdown but it doesn't i don't think it's too bad at the moment but somehow uh, so I do need to do that one day but yeah these are 50p and I just thought they were really nice and different and good for dresses because they wouldn't take up much room because they're very thin so I can put more of my wardrobe more dresses that I find at car boot sales and charity shops so I'll just put the little dress things on there you know if you have like a strappy dress so I thought they were great and 50p for four of those I think she wanted a pound and it was at the very beginning, Louise was bringing some change and I only had £1.50 on me. So I just said, oh, I've only got 50p, is that okay? And she said, yeah. So 50p for these moustache coat hangers, which I'll just put there. Okay, what else have I got? I'll save the best for last. Actually, they're all quite lovely here. These are really, really, really sweet. They're from the same stall I got this and this from, um, and they were 50p. For the two so they're just little cardboard easter boxes no they're not they're like egg boxes with some little easter decorations in so there's five in there can you see those and then in this one i think there's six in this little box yeah a set of six easter decorations so she might have made them herself i just thought they're very sweet and 50p for the two and i bought loads of easter bargains from tk Maxx. Who? TK Match, TK Max, which you might have seen um, on a vlog about two months ago. I think it was two months ago. I'll link it in the description. I bought some like Easter bargains. I put most of them away. I showed a few and I thought well, I'm going to wait until just before Easter then do a big TK Max haul. So I've got things for really cheap and I've just put them away in my cupboards to show you like near Easter. So I'll put those with it. 50p for the two of them. I just couldn't resist them. I know I didn't really need them, but I just thought they were quite sweet. So if I do have a little Easter tree or anything, I can hang them on. They were such a bargain. This was 50p. It's a, 
Emma Bridgewater heart tin and it just says sugar on it. Although if I turn it around, you could um, put whatever you want in. You don't have to put sugar in here. I just thought I would get it. I do love a tin. This is Emma Bridgewater hearts on the bottom. So yeah, I could use that for anything. Put makeup in there, or I could put anything really. So I thought I would get it sugar, a sugar tin. I love things like that. I did see another Emma Bridgewater tin, a little like, what they call it, like soup, mini suitcase, a metal suitcase with, I think it was mice on it. It was really sweet, but I thought, no, I'll just get that. I didn't need the other one, but it was very, very sweet. Um, this is lovely. Right, I've got three really, really good bargains to show you. Nothing was more than a pound, was it? No, just a pound. So I saw this, another lady picked it up. And I thought, oh no, you know, you look, and I was like, oh, I love that, that she's got it. And she said, how much is this? And the lady said two pounds. And the lady, the, the lady who had it in her hands put it down. So I just jumped over there and picked it up. And then I was looking at it and I said, would you take a pound please? And she said, yes. I was like, yes. So the lady who put it down for two pounds, should have just asked to, um, you know, she thought the price was too much. She could have offered a pound and then she would have got it, but she didn't, and I did. So it's a table runner. It's a Laura, I didn't know it was Laura Ashley, but the lady told me at the end, she went, oh, that's Laura Ashley. And I was like, oh, wow, I didn't even know. I just thought it was like a pretty table runner. So it's just really beautiful table runner. And it's padded as well. It's nice and thick. Oh, you can just about see me. It's got birds on it and butterflies and flowers. It's kind of like a duck egg blue with greens on it and pinks. I just think that looks so lovely outside or on our table maybe even with these tea lights on they'll look lovely oh that goes really nicely and then i've got some rattan placemats that i got from a car boot sale as well so that'd look probably really nice outside all together so a pound for that and i was so pleased the other woman put it down i didn't think she would i was just like oh it's gone i really like that and then she put it back on the floor so it's meant to be it was meant to be mine i'm going to give it a wash because it's got a couple of tiny marks on it so I'll give, oh, sorry, Rufus. Sorry, Rufus, I've got that on your head. So I'll give that a good wash. And um, yeah, I love that. I think it's really nice. I was very happy to find my Laura Ashley table runner. So I'll just put that there. And this was a pound as well. These are from the same stall, actually, the last couple of things. It's a big heart, you know, heart light thing. And originally it's from B&M. Yeah, it says B&M on the back. And it needs new batteries so it doesn't currently work. Hopefully it will. If not, it's actually quite pretty. It'd be quite nice for our wedding anyway, just put somewhere. I think it's lovely, but hopefully it will work and it will be a light, which will be handy. So that was a pound and I just thought that was really good. It's a metal heart with these little light bulbs. And like I said, it needs new batteries. And um, yeah, I can all have those things to hang it up here. So I think that was gonna look lovely. I mean, actually might look quite nice in here, in this room that we're still doing up which actually we really need to, you know, you've got, like we're gonna be doing up this room and there just seems to be lots of other things happening, but I will, we'll get around to it one day and then I'll do a spare bedroom, YouTube room makeover. So I, I do apologize if you're waiting for that video. It's, um, we haven't done anything really. We've got the shelf ready to be put up and some other bits, but this isn't even fixed on yet and it's still got to be painted. So one day, you know, one day we'll have this bedroom makeover and it'll be looking lovely, but just not at the moment. So yeah, a pound for that, which I thought was brilliant. And that's really quite large as well, this heart, white metal heart. And then the last thing I'm gonna show you is so lovely. I think it's from B&M as well. Yes, yes it is. And I saw this, it was hidden behind something and I nearly didn't see it. It's why you've got to really look at car boot sales because things can be hiding. Look how lovely this is. It's so nice. Oh, it's a bit going a bit bright there. It's a jug. It's kind of off-white or kind of creamy jug. That's Rufus snoring from B&M. And it says, when life gives you lemons, make lemonade. I just think that is so beautiful. I love this jug. I really love it. I love things. Oh, it's got a tiny chip. But that's okay, because you can't really see it anyway. Titchy chip just on the inside. Love that. I'm really happy with my jug for a pound. So yeah, that is from B&M. It was a pound, I didn't haggle because it's just really reasonable. And I love it, so I can do a really nice picture like outside for Instagram and just put some 
you know, lemons by it. I just think it's lovely. So that was a pound from the car boot sale. That's the last thing I'm going to show you. So that is the end of this haul. Rufus is just getting into his snoring. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give the video a like. And if you haven't subscribed, then make sure you do. And I will speak to you very soon. And let me know your favourite item. Write it in the comments, your favourite item out of this haul. I think if I had to choose, it's going to be the jug. I love that. The big heart, the Laura Ashley table runner, the tea lights. I love it all. Such lovely things um, at car boot sale. Sometimes you go and you can't find a lot, but lately I have. I think because everyone had a big declutter, the Rufus, big declutter um, during lockdown. So there's lots of bargains to be found. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Come over to Instagram. Everything will be linked below my Instagram accounts and and my car boot sale hauls that I've done recently, I will add below with my charity shop hauls as well. So thank you very much for watching and being here and part of my YouTube world and community. I love doing YouTube and I love, love showing off my, the bargains that I find. I think it's just brilliant. And if you find any treasure on, um, you know, when you go out to charity shops or car boot sales, make sure you tag me on Instagram so I can have a look because I love looking at treasure. People that post things like a haul from a car boot sale and they post things, I love looking almost like, oh, so I love uh, having a look at what people buy. So definitely tag me in any pictures on Instagram of your car boot sale bargains. Oh, I did see, just before I go, um, A, it was really, really strange. So I saw at the corner of my eye this Emma, Bridge, Emma Bridgewater mug and I thought, that's Emma Bridgewater. So I ran out, like ran over. Well, I didn't run actually, I was just like fast walked. So it was about, it was about five metres away. And then I looked and it was all chipped all over the side and the handle was missing. Me and Louise were like that. Ah, what's going on there? But um, yeah. I was very disappointed because I thought it was Emma, well, it was Emma Bridgewater, but it was this mug was chipped and the handle was gone. So I don't know who was going to buy it. It was really chipped there, like five different places. So I'm not sure. Someone might be looking for a chipped Emma Bridgewater mug with no handle, but it wasn't me. So yeah, that's my uh, Emma Bridgewater story. That was probably marginally better than the 10p uh, paintbrush story. Anyway, I'll shut up. I'll get out of here. Thanks for watching. Speak to you soon. Bye.